Hello and welcome to uh, well, what is the first video in a super, super long time. Sorry that I haven't uploaded it for any of those who have been wanting an upload. I've been kind of getting comments trickling in on the Marshall video. Um, it seems quite popular, which is cool. Thanks very much for, for commenting and joining in the chat. I've, I've really enjoyed listening to people and replying and stuff like that. If it was of any help, brilliant, you know. So I'm back, and as you can see from the title, you know, um, it is no surprise, but we're doing an amp demo again, um, and it is going to be on the Bugera V22 Infinium. Um, so yeah, I've still got the Marshall, um, I've actually got it up for sale right now, um, and through an app called Plum, not a sponsor, which helps you kind of save money, um, I managed to save up and get this, so I wanted a bit of a bigger valve amp for quite a while now, just in case I do decide to be in a band again, and just to give me a bit more of a bit of headroom or maybe a jam session if I'm doing it with friends. And I've seen Anderton's put up a video on this, and um, this video will be nowhere near the quality of that. And I really liked it, so I thought I would do a little demo on it as well, quite hopefully a quick one. I did get a comment in one of my other videos saying that I talked too much, so I'm going to try and skip by that. So I'm playing through today quite an affordable amp through an expensive guitar. This is a 2016 Les Paul Standard with number 19 Confluence pickups in it. Please check out number 19 pickups. In fact I've done a whole video on the pickups in this guitar. I think you can get it there or there. Never remember what way this flips. Um, but yeah, they sound great. So yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of filming on my phone to see the amp here. I was going to cut away and do it, but hey, we're here just to just to hear the tones of the amp. Um, so now, hopefully, this can cut to this. Excuse the bedroom. Yeah, this is the amp here. Um, I've got it mic'd up with an SM57. Uh, these are the settings. So we're going to go through some tones. Very quickly, we'll go through the features. We've got two inputs on this amp. A normal and a bright. So you get to say that if you've got a humbucker guitar, use it on the bright. I have not noticed too much of a difference, but we're going to just keep it in the bright for this. It is a two channel amp. We get a clean channel, as you can see, and we have a gain channel with a volume as well. And we've got a master volume, presence, reverb, and your three band EQ, bass, mids, treble, and a boost button as well. Um, standby and your power. And on the back of this, we actually have, is that a triode and a pentode mode you can switch between? I can't remember exactly what they do, um, but you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll find out, I'll find out, let's find out together. <laughs> So, here we go, here's a difference, finally found it on their website. Triode or pentode modes. Triode mode produces a slightly darker, mellower sound with less power when overdriven, and triode mode breaks up earlier than pentode mode, and has a different harmonic spectra as well. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know what one I'm currently in, I've got to be honest with you. Um, very professional that way. But yeah, that's, that, that's the kind of difference there. I just stick it on one and leave it. If you want a short review of this amp, it sounds brilliant. Okay, for the price as well. I mean, I think this is this is the 20, 20, V22 uh, 30 watt all valve. It's super loud, but um, sounds great. Okay, so we're going to, need to dive right into some tone. So I've got both of I've got the guitar and the neck pickup volume tone full. Uh, everything at 12 on this, the reverb's actually, I'll we'll put that at 12 o'clock as well. Uh, presence at 12, mids, you know, bass, treble at 12. Master's about 3.5 and, and the clean channel volume is about 2.5 because I'm in my bedroom so we need to be quiet. And here's our tones. <laughs>
Okay, now we're going to mess about a little bit with some of the EQ in this. Um, I'm going to put the treble. We're going to put that at, let's just, let's film that then, shall we? Um, so you can see where the amp's at. I'm going to tune the guitar also in a second, we'll cut to that. Um, but here we go, we're going to put the bass, oh, almost dropped the phone. Um, where I would usually put it. Okay, we're going to bang on the dremel, we've got a little bit of dremel, the bass. Okay, we're actually going to bump the reverb up slightly and the presence up as well. Quite like the reverb in this, digital reverb. Um, isn't it? Yeah, digital reverb, I think. Uh, and we're going to keep the volume where it is and we're going to stay on the clean channel for now. So we are our neck pickup again on the Let's Paul and it's going to sound like this. Sounds great, and I think just adding that little bit of extra reverb, you know, makes it sound pretty, pretty cool. Sounds pretty nice, doesn't it? Okay, we'll go on to the both pickups now. And we'll go brig, brig, brig pack up. We're gonna go bridge pack up. We're gonna turn the volume up. Sounds great, there's bags there, you know, we can back off the presence a little bit, if we put the presence to zero. If we get that presence all the way up, we're about seven. You know, it gives you that little bit of mid boost. Yeah, it sounds great. So that's the clean channel. As I said, there's bags in it. Hopefully the mic's picking this up. I'm just an amateur doing this, you know, in the bedroom. An amateur in the bedroom. Oh. I think it sounds really good, you know, my favourite kind of things to do, you know, back off the volume on your neck, pick up there, a little bit of the tone. You know, some lovely, lovely tones there, and all for £300, you know, it's, it's quite crazy. So what we also have, oh, where's my phone? What this comes with actually is, oh, excuse the, the state of the place, is a foot pedal. Here it is, here on the floor. I've not even taken it out of the packaging yet. It's quite a new amp. So you've got a channel switch and a reverb, okay? Now the issue with the amp, one of the few issues that I've came across, if you're not using the pedal, it's, uh, you need to use your ears, but it's hard to tell if you're on the clean channel or the driven channel. There's no light on the amp, 
So if I click this in, that's me now in the drive channel, but there's no indication on the amp you're on it. Of course, tonally, there's an indication when you play, but if you're on stage and you're unsure, you you never know, maybe that, that could be an issue. But on the pedal, you can tell. So if I go to the drive channel, you see that red light goes on, and you can also turn the reverb on and off as well, which I don't see as a, a big a feature as I would have on a pedal. Personally, this boost switch here, the same as the clean channel, there's no, there's no foot switch unless they introduce one um, to channel that boost on and off and that, that would probably be more beneficial to me. Um, I kind of always play with reverb uh, and if I was playing live that just little boost would have been great to be able to do in a foot switch. You could do it through pedals, of course anyway, but it would have been, it would have been handy. So we're going to go over to the dirty channel. Um, Settings the same on the guitar and on the amp. Uh, I'll give you some tones. We're going to start in the bridge pickup here because, let's face it, I'm going to get some cool things out of that. So use the bridge pickup. All settings the same. Gains at about pretty much 12 o'clock. Um, volume for that, you know, is about three. Okay. We go to the neck pickup, everything on full on the guitar, same things on the amp. <laughs> Excuse the pretty shoddy playing, but you get an idea of the tone. If we back off the volume and the tone a little bit, in fact, let's go both pickups. Let's get a bit of that that woman tone. We turn that reverb off. So it's quite cool. If we jump that gain to about eight o'clock, not eight o'clock, about eight. Um, about three o'clock. Um, starts to get a bit fizzy, but still usable. Tune up time. We'll get that reverb back on the go.
I think it sounds pretty cool. Um, I like it. I like it. Now what I have been doing, I've been just running my pedal board through the clean channel in this. Uh, maybe I'll do a review on some of the pedals soon, I don't know. I've got a Vox Copperhead that I actually won from Anderton's music, which is great, it's cool. Should have worn my top, got a top as well. Uh, but yeah, that's, um, that's a great, great pedal and it works really well. That is one thing I'll say about this amp, it works super well for pedals. Um, I just realised that I might actually be out of focus. What am I going to do? It works great for pedals. Um, I've used all mine through it. I've not tried the effects loop, but there is an effects loop on the back as well. Obviously there's an input for this pedal, which by the way comes with the amp. You don't pay for this pedal separately. Yeah, it comes with it. Yeah, I don't know if there's too much more to say about the amp. I think it's great. Time will tell how it holds up. It feels pretty premium. Uh, it doesn't feel like a cheap amp. We get a bit of a close up here with this. Um, it feels premium, you know, nice handle on it, you know, nice grill, maybe a bit flashy with the gold and, you know, it's got the turbo sound speaker in it, which, you know, good brand of speaker. Um, and it just, it's, it's great and it's a wonder that Bugera, you know, slash Behringer, you know, who makes them, um, are able to, just leave that phone fell, able to make an amp like this all valve for the money. And it starts to level up, you know, a lot of people would say, when you find a £300 guitar, people are like, that's an absolute bargain, this is amazing. But it doesn't seem to work that way with amps, you know, people don't see it in the same kind of way. When you get a £300 valve amp, people are like, oh, it must be terrible. But we don't question it when if you get a good Squire guitar at £300, it's, or an Epiphone, or whatever, it's going to be great. It, you know, usually. Maybe we're there with amps now as well. Maybe we're not, we don't need to spend thousands on an amp, maybe we can get a £300 loud enough to gig, you know, amp that sounds great, takes pedals well, has great features on it. Just got a, a memory card full uh, little symbol, but it can't be right, it's just a new 64 gigabyte, I've only been recording 20 minutes to 4K, that can't be as much as 64 gigabytes. Anyway, yeah, not much more to say about this, um, I'll turn it on to the other mode, um, I'm not sure what I'm currently on, let me find out for you and I'll do the switch at the back and you can hear the kind of difference. So I was in Pentode that whole time playing, now I'm in Triode, so you can hear the volume drop. So you hear that it's a bit of a squishier, squishier thing, we're going to turn it back. So you see, maybe if you're home use, the other mode would be better. Um, it's up to you. you know, there's not much more to say about the amp, as I said, that hasn't already been covered. And um, by the way, I've put this here, this is another guitar I'm going to do a wee review on. Right here that I got, I got from Anderton's, funnily enough. Um, but they deserve even more chat than vintage I've probably already got. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, hopefully it's not too long and I've gave you some tones. Um, let's try the boost, eh? We've not done that. Here's the boost in. I don't like the boost that much. <laughs> okay, if we boost, if we crank this, just a little bit. Yeah, sounds cool cranked, it sounds good at low volume as well, because that's what I was worrying about, is it going to be too loud for my bedroom, but no, I can I can do it. Got a standby switch, 
which is which is great. Um, some a lot of fire lamps actually don't come with that. But it's a great feature to have. I've not much more to say about it. It's a great amp. If you, if you can go and try one out, if someone's stocking it, please do. Um, it takes pedals great. If you do want to hear it with pedals in front of it, maybe I could do another video. But overall, super happy with it. Time will tell if it stays up. I've heard people say putting better branded valves in it um, make it infinitely better. That's tubes for the American people, by the way. Um, make it a lot better make it sing even more. So maybe I'll do that at some point, but I like the way it sounds. I mainly just use it in the clean channel and I get my overdrive from my pedals. Hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe I'll do a few more. I've just got such a small space to record in that I don't, I don't, you know, it's hard to set up. If you could see behind, behind the, in front of me right now, it's such a mess. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. You know, there's other videos there. Um, if you enjoy them and I'll catch you again soon. Take care guys.